you're live. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear everybody. Uh, hello, so um, we're on to our, our next bit, and we are uh, very kindly joined by Commanders Orange Phoenix and Exorcist from the SPVFA. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for, uh, for joining us. The intro. Dad pulled at the intro. I always struggle with that acronym, so I didn't want to yeah. try it twice <laughs> on my stream and get it and get it wrong. So you just, you just left it to me, is what you did. I you, did. You well, let, I, you I let me <clears throat> uh, fine. I, I understand how it goes. Um, so we run this thing every week uh, on our channels called uh, the Stellar Screenshots. And if you're unfamiliar with Stellar Screenshots, what this be uh, means is that uh, commanders from across the galaxy take various photos that they've um of scenes and moments from in, in the game and they send it to us on our social channels and our forums uh via twitter they can tweet with uh, hashtag um stellar screenshots or they post it in our facebook uh comments or they post in our forums in the uh stellar screenshots uh forum thread and every week we look through all of the entries and we find a bunch of commanders uh entries that we really like and we feature those on our channel. Now, up until uh, earlier this, later this year, sorry, they would just sort of highlight it. It was pretty cool, and, and people would um, would uh, uh, like we had. But we've now managed to, thanks to the efforts of Bruce, uh, create a new system where we're able to reward people who send people we can feature. Uh, they are given a special sp uh, paint job for the Asp Explorer. They are the sort of acid, lava, and ice effects. There's a sort of paint splatter on the side of the ship, which is quite fitting for the sort of stellar screenshots competition. Uh, oh, I've just been informed we have a winner uh, for the last uh, competition. Uh, the winner was Commander Radium on YouTube. So uh, well done to you. If you can just email community at frontier.co.uk and basically tell us you've won to send you your things, uh, we'll get that sorted for you. So let me just load my page up so I know what I'm doing. Uh, so what we've done is we had a look at all of the entries from the Stellar Screenshot for the past year, and we thought it'd be a really good idea to, to reach out to you guys from the SB uh, VFA and go, OK, which are the best? So you guys have had a look through all of it. You, you've seen is, all the amazing entries, the sheer number of them. Right? <laughs> We've uh, narrowed it down to 10, I believe. We have, yes. We, we we had a whole bunch of pictures to sit and look through. And the way we kind of worked it was we picked a bunch of judges um, from the admin team at SPVFA. And we all voted independently on our best, uh, what we thought were the top 10. And then accruing the points, managed to whittle it down to a full top 10 amongst us. So I am a big your... fan. Oh, sorry, Paul. I was going to say, I'm, I'm a oh, big no, you fan. Go, you go off. I, I, you're, I'm a big fan of screenshots, as anyone at Fozzer Streams knows. Um, and you guys, um, which is why we ask you really to be judges, um, take what I can say are incredible um, screenshots um, throughout the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Um, when you were looking, when we asked you for this, and we knew it wasn't a big and easy ask, how did you go about sort of whistling down the, the 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 screenshots we're about to see um well basically the way we did it is we all independently chose our favorite 10 from the the whole bunch we then voted on the 10 that we had selected um each and the best ones were then put forward and then once again we all voted on the 10 that we managed to whittle that down to uh, in order to get the pecking order. Yeah, so... Was there a lot of discussion? Came, yeah, there was a lot of discussion, and we were surprised uh, as we come, as we whittled it down to the top 10, we were started to realize the difference in a lot of our staff and our perspectives. Uh, we had some images that kind of lined up where we'd have two or three staff members that voted on them. And then we had some that, you know, were onesie twosies. So um, there was really kind of a diverse uh, selection of images, but we were able to whittle it down. And then once we got to that last kind of top 10, 
that's where a lot of our discussions come in. And we got to see, you know, what as as creators ourselves, what we appreciate about Elite Dangerous and the universe and really what caps uh, catches our eye. It was uh, very interesting how a lot of choices differed um, when it came to sort of whittling down the last 10 who thought what was best. And we did a, a points system uh, to be as fair as possible to, to get the uh, final 10. Out of curiosity, was it when they had discussions, was it because certain uh, sort of members take certain types of photos and they were more sort of inclined to like those type of photos? Or was it just a case of there were so many good photos? Because I know there are. Um, that it was just so hard to, to whittle down. I'd say it was a combination of both. Some people have personal preferences and then there mm -hmm. was a lot of good material to go through. Yeah, it's kind of the whole eye of the beholder situation, I think. Um, certain things stand out more to, to yeah. others. Cool. Well, I still enough of, of stuff. Paul's time. <laughs> uh, okay, so... I think now that we've, we've explained our processes a bit, uh, if we can talk through the entry. So this is uh, the, uh, the I believe, number 10 on, on the list. And bearing in mind, they have, the guys have whittled these down from a huge number of entries. So to be in the top 10 is a huge achievement. Uh, so this one's uh, Commander uh, Bopper, I believe it's pronounced. Um, what sort of, for a better, better phrase, sold this one to, to you guys? Um, I think with, with this one, it, you know, it's a classic SRV pose. You know, I'm sure many of us have seen loads of shots, you know, side on SRV. But with this one, the use of the light source and the color, um, given that kind of sil silhouette aspect with the, 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 the smoke effect really made it stand out. Um, I am also a sucker for uh, sort of Wolf Riot kind of purpley hues, personally. Awesome. Should we have a look at number nine? Yep. But if there's a slight delay, it's because obviously we're yeah, in yeah. Discord and then this is for chat. And then Stephen, it's bless him, is behind the scenes trying to flip scenes over. So there might be a slight discord when we say number nine and we're talking about things. So do bear with the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. So this is uh, Commander Vrini. Do you want to talk to I mean, I can already see why I like this one, but. Uh... Yes, coming in at number nine is uh, from the Burr Pit, the fantastic Commander Rini. So this particular image, uh, Commander Zero Axis, one of our admins, uh, specifically mentioned that he liked this one because it was kind of unusual, and uh, but it's very well framed. Myself, I picked this as one of my top selections because when you look at it, there's a, a really stark contrast between the Void Hearts themselves and the planet in the background. And it almost looks manipulated in terms of kind of a color washout, but it's not. Void hearts, in my opinion, are some of the most beautiful, you know, stellar phenomenon that we've gotten in the galaxy. They're really incredible. And so I think that Rini did a fantastic job of kind of capturing, you know, this, this whole image. So it kind of gives that, that impression that, you know, the void hearts are, are um, brought out more artificially but they really aren't. It's just the, the magic of the game. Yeah. yeah. One, one of the things I've always said about... The horror look. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Paul, go ahead. I just say it gives a sort of cosmic horror look, which is why uh, um, I approve of it so much. Exactly. We, we move on to... Yeah, I'm not sure the oh, delay. I'm getting a lot of delay in mind. I do apologise. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. all right. Let's uh, let's move on to number eight then. I think for the delays. So number eight was one of my uh, favorite selections, and honestly, in, in all of the things that I've seen as an explorer and a photographer in Elite Dangerous, one of the things that I think the game does the best is planetscapes and kind of mm -hmm. that wide sweeping um, view. And so in this particular image with Commander Faramir, I think this is a perfect example. Finding a, a planetscape like this in deep space is really a thrilling moment. 
And uh, I think that with the shading and the lighting in this particular image, it is a perfect shot and it's a perfect representation of uh, what the game is capable of. So I just, it's balanced the lighting and everything. This one was just, this was kind of the, the kind of image that makes me giddy. I'm like, Oh, this is my kind of image. I love this because of it, it gives a real sense of scale of the universe and um, like what's going on. Uh, the huge, beautiful vista in front. I mean, the rock to the right hand side of the screen looks, reminds me a bit of, of like devil's rock. Um, <laughs> yes. It's also um, the tiny, tiny SRV just at the bottom. And it just shows you how small you are in this in this galaxy. And I, I love the fact that it's got this. That again, like I said, the lighting is it's very otherworldly. It's almost I don't know. It's it's like one of those old eighties rock album covers, but it's it's so cool. I do like the shot. Exactly. It's kind of ominous with the giant planet looming uh, uh, over the the shot. It or it just needs some sort of glowing red eyes, and it could be uh, out of, out of another game. <laughs> like you can almost hear the guitar solo uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Landscape. Uh, and if we go into the next screenshot that we have it's number seven am i right paul am i keeping up uh, let me just double check because yeah. i too have lost my place yes it is <laughs> <laughs> oh wow got a terminator 2 vibe to it i feel with the whole sort of <laughs> thumb down thing yeah so they... you guys been talking to this one yeah, the, the the shot by Commander Maskamy, um it, it caught a lot of our eyes. Um, Nick Webb, uh, who was one of the judges from SPVFA, thought that the the scale on this one particularly was impressive, with the sort of uh, framing and the the consistency of the colour. Whereas uh, Tolak Grohik, uh, another one of our admins, he chose it more for the sheer heat of it, the sort of open shape of the the cockpit. Um, showing so so little protection from the fires of hell around them, mm -hmm. um, you give it a, a real kind of atmosphere of of danger, um, and really sort of depicted elite dangerous. Yeah, it's a really cool shot. Really, really cool shot. Yeah. Um, someone's asked in it's chat where, where can we find these posted. I'm sure we'll put a link to these afterwards after the the stream, and we'll get these up online for you can see all of them and potentially more. I think. Yeah, I think it was over 80 that we had to sift through. Mm -hmm. there, there was a lot. There was a lot. Cool. And then let's move on to number six. That delay is a lot of fun. <laughs> that is great. It's like the awkward silences at the start of a Zoom call. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so there. Okay, number six. Uh, coming in at number six, Justin uh, Ritchie. Uh, so this image has a lot of spice to it. I mm. really like this one. Um, the There's some folks that will look at an image like this and go, well, it's tilted, it's slanted. Well, that's part of the point. And it's really a photographer trick in tilting the image to try to capture more of what's going on, especially in a game like Elite Dangerous where you have planets with these massive ring systems. And so when you can tilt the image and capture more of the ring and more of the, the ship and more of the star, the, the, the whole scene that's going on. So this is a perfect example of it. And for me, I see this image as a perfect uh, explanation of balance. And so you have kind of the planet that's tilted, but then you have the ship that's tilted as well. And it all kind of balances itself out. It's interesting. There's, it's there's there's symmetry to it, but there's not. And so I really like this one. It's a spicy image. And this was our number six. Yeah, I, I, also, I, I like the way it looks like a giant eye staring at it. <laughs> Absolutely. And these honestly, uh, as an explorer, these are some of my favorite things to find in deep space are gas giants and planets and ringed worlds, especially that are close to their host star because they make for some amazing photos. Yeah, I, I, I want to talk to you guys more after we, after we run through this about just your experience of doing this sort of stuff. Because when I first got into Elite, it was purely for just that, for going out and exploring stuff and finding really cool sites. Um, and I've, I need to do more of that going forward. Um, I'm not sure if one of us has dropped out of Discord there. I will double check. I don't think so. I think we're all in here. Oh, ah. the magic voice of, <laughs> sounds a lot like our very own Stephen Benedetti, but that's fantastic that the magic voice um, 
can do that sort of stuff. I thought he was still locked in some house. <laughs> <laughs> what you that, mean? That was, uh, that was Brock. Um, He's fine. Yeah. Uh, right, so let's go to number five. Yeah. Ah, oh, a nice bit of uh, alien architecture. Yes, so uh, in number five, Commander Decimated Decibel with this technically challenging shot. That's the thing with this one. Um, not only has he got all the detail and the focus in there, he has captured a Thargoid jumping into a wormhole. And anybody mm -hmm. that has tried that will know how difficult it is to get a good shot. Um, I, I've only attempted it a handful of times <laughs> and only had success a couple of times it is very difficult to do and you know this is pristine um commander zero axis uh also you know it was the technical aspect that really caught him um just capturing that perfect moment and sometimes with uh, in-game photography that's what it is you know you just mm -hmm. capture that moment um which is exceptionally hard to do but if you're lucky you can get some great moments in this game I guess that's a, a, a true statement for, uh, for all photography, but especially in Elite, if you might jump into a particular star system and you just happen to have jumped in at the right date and time where, for want of a better word, the stars have aligned and that perfect shot is waiting for you, whereas a thousand commanders may have gone through it prior and never seen what you are seeing right there and then because it only happens once every two years, three years in that in that system's cycle. So it's incredible to see these things shared. Absolutely, yeah. It... It's one of the things I found very early on in playing Elite, um, simply by exiting stations. You've you've logged off for the night, you go back on the next day, you fly out the station to carry on your mission, and you're just met with this vista that wasn't there before. Um, and that, you know, you just turn around and there's the shot. It, it's suddenly there. So yeah. a lot of it is timing, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, are we into with top five now, I'm assuming? Yep, that was number, number five. Now, I believe. Number five, yep. Yeah. I wish we had like a smashy and nicey sort of thing. You know, <laughs> da, 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 and now we're into number four. <laughs> number four. Oh, wow. Coming in at number four, Commander Nico. <laughs> <laughs> so Commander Nick Webb, uh, he thought the form and shape was particularly good with this shot. And, um, and Tolak, he really likes the angle as well, the shadow. For me... Um, I'm a big fan of Medaxo. I've seen a lot of his work, and he has an Instagram and a Twitter that he posts. And one of the things that really sticks out to me about his shots in particular is he likes to go on the dark side of gas giants. He likes us to show us kind of this different side of what's an otherwise nondescript world. When you look at them from head on, you're like, okay, well, there's another blue ringed gas giant. It's number 460 that I might have seen today. But going on the back side of them a lot of times, trying different lighting angles, and then he does really good work changing his engine colors to match or contrast what he's shooting. Um, it's just a fantastic composition. So yeah, it's really, amazing. really liked this one. So this was our definitely our number four pick. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, many, many people will know Commander Madaxo for his skills. He does come up with some cracking shots. Um, and yeah, this one stood out to a, a good bunch of us. Yeah, it's 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 not. I wouldn't say it's simple, but it's it's so stark. I mean, my first res response was like, "Wow, that's just it is an incredible shot." And I was watching chat at the same time. A lot of people was like, "Wow, that's an incredible shot." Just its composition is amazing. So on to number, on number three, to number top three. three, and in third place we have Commander Infinity Spectre. Um, nice this purple glow. this. This shot was one of my favourites, I must admit. Um, I felt that it stood out because of the, the gradient of colour throughout it. Mm -hmm. uh, the vibrancy still in the centre. You've got that sort of central core um, of colour with the, the ring. And then, you know, fading out to the, the edges. And zero access, he basically said, you know, it was the hazy purple scene uh, in front of the the, the vulture, uh, contrasting against the thick mist that that caught him. Um, but there's just so much going on in this picture. Uh, you've obviously you've got the galaxy band in the background there. You've got the gas giant. So many things um, to look at and all captured well. Yeah, I, I, I just love all the, the the hues of purples and blues that you see here. Yeah. Um, it, it's just again, it's one of the pictures you can just stare at, you just stare at it and look at it, and just like it's yeah, incredible. Yeah, you can kind I of like get the lost contrasting green engines as well. That gives it a nice sort of um, 
what's the word high end tech look to it is it, it's a works really well yep yeah. awesome oh. and then number two Ha. Ah, it's a nice ominous shot. You might ever remember the film Serenity. Um, it's yep. like the bit where uh, the um, they arrive with all the uh, Reavers out of the uh, the gas cloud. It's very much like that. Yeah. Imagine so. the ships in front just going, "Well, we're dead." <laughs> <laughs> so coming in at number two, Commander uh, Nagasano, and. This one, uh, Talak Grohik, one of our admins, he specifically <laughs> mentioned that it does. Like you mentioned, the Reavers, it kind of looks like a ghost. Um, yeah. it, it really looks like some kind of space spirit uh, coming out of the dark. Um, Commander Nick Webb <laughs> mentioned that it looks like a hyperspace portal in some aspects. Uh, for me, uh, for one thing, before I mention mine, is uh, whoever took the guy that took this shot. Uh, it's you got to be really lucky to be in this. I was going to say this is one absolutely. of those moments where you're like, "Hey, you know what? A, a thousand commanders could have passed through this sector, but the one person that's in the right place at the right moment to capture this, uh, you know, it's a lot of times it's luck of the draw." And so they really took advantage of this opportunity to make this uh, point. Uh, for me, it kind of reminds me there's an old Star Trek: The Next Generation episode uh, where Silence has lease, where they uh, it was like a gigantic black hole in space and Worf was talking about he had there was like an old Klingon legend of a gigantic black space creature that would devour vessels. And so it kind of had like this kind of same appearance to it. So um, bringing back some old nostalgia for me. But um, this one's really <laughs> spicy, really nice. But this is our number two. I, re- I also just before we move on to the, to the, to the top to number one, I also love the lighting on the Diamondback. I am a big fan of the Diamondback and um, just how it looks. And I love how it looks in this shot. Um, I mean, FDL is FDL, but I mean, I do like the Diamondback in the back. It's very, very boxy, boxy but good. So. Okay, well, I think we're now down to number one. So, number one. Uh, anticlimactic drum roll. Drum roll, please. <laughs> in there first we go. Place. We have Commander Jetsukai, and uh, I think you can see why this ended up number one. Stunning. <laughs> it Just is, absolutely it's... stunning. Um, yeah, Nick Webb, you know, he thought the, the placement of the ship inside the shadow, along with Zero Axis Agreed, you know, that's really what kind of makes it pop. Um, you've got those, obviously, the red flare coming from it. You've got all that detail, the background, and the, the gas giant hiding in the back. Um the framing was great. Um, the sort of rule of thirds aspect of it was followed. Um, just all in all, you know, a really, really good shot. But I would point out the top five, at least, were very close call to try and yeah. sell. Um, they were all brilliant, but uh, Jet Sakai, definitely congratulations. You are the number one shot. That kind of well is uh, yeah, no, awesome good overall. Which is that um, it's it's really hard each week to to just get them down to the ten we highlight. Yeah. So uh, to to get to, to this stage to number one for more of this is a real achievement. So yeah, congratulations again, Jetsukai. Uh, incredible work. And um, we did touch it really really briefly, but um, the SPVFA twice well now I've done it. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, can you tell us a bit about how you formed? Like sort of how your group works, how people can get involved with you guys. Um, just tell us a bit about yourselves. <clears throat> um, well, SPVFA, uh, Stellar Photography, Videography and Fan Art, for those that don't know the acronym. Um, really, it started as a safe place to be able to put pictures. Um, a lot of social media you know, it can be a bit trolly, that sort of side of things, or pictures just no. get lost. Um <laughs> So uh, we had a commander, Jay Synthetic, um, an Xbox commander, approached me um, oh, just just over three years ago. We just recently had our birthday um, and asked, you know, would I be interested in helping them setting up some form of an elite dangerous group? We whittled it down. Um, he wanted to do trucking. I suggested photography and photography was agreed. And yeah, we started a Facebook group and the Facebook group uh, grew from strength to strength um, as a safe place that you can just go in there, put your picture in. Um, 
number one rule is no post without a picture. So even if you want to ask a question, as long as there's a picture there, you can ask your questions. Um, very helpful bunch. We're over 2,000 strong now, 2, over 2,200 wow. strong, I think. Um, and yeah, there's just new amazing images every week. Um, we slowly grew, uh, adding more and more admins. We're now, I think we're about 10 active admins now on the group. Um, and we just see new stuff all the time. Um, Exorcist, do you want to say a bit more, maybe a bit competitions and stuff? Sure. So we, uh, one of the things that we do is every week we hold a weekly competition and it is theme based. And so every week we select a specific theme in the game. It could be anything from we want to see your green photos to pictures of SRVs or racing or combat or whatever it is. And we try, sometimes we try to go with these, maybe a theme of whatever holiday is coming up or whatever's going on. If it's like something happening in the elite dangerous community, like when you did the uh, fleet carrier launch, obviously fleet carriers were a big part of our competition. And so each week we have a competition. Folks uh, submit their information to the group. We vote on it through the Facebook like system. And then the winner is they're recognized on our social media accounts. And also they become our group banner for the week. And so the winning uh, photo gets kind of that spotlight as the uh, premier SPVFA um, image for the week. Uh, nice. On that note, we do have uh, social media. I am the group's social media manager and digital marketing, all that. So if you see a tweet or Instagram, 99% of the time it is uh, yours truly that's doing it. So if there's misspellings, I apologize in advance, <laughs> getting commander's name <laughs> wrong. Uh posting things on the wrong day or the wrong image, wrong credits. I have done it all. I can tell you it's uh, we, we have it's all quite, been there. <laughs> it's quite yeah. an experience. It really is, but it's been a lot of fun. And, um, you know, with our group in particular, uh, you know, we really appreciate our, our communities and our members. You know, we have, we have a, a pretty big staff, but uh, we have some of the most fantastic creators in our group as, as part of our membership, just people with an incredible vision and the ability to take, you know, a basic star and planet. And as you can see in a lot of these images and, and, and just do amazing things uh, with a camera suite in the game. So uh, um, it, yeah, it's I mean, a really interesting and fun thing to do. I've, I've been a, a fan and a follower of the page for a long time, probably before even I joined Frontier, I think, or I might be incorrect. Um, but it's always nice. I flick on my timeline and I just there's always incredible photos. Always. Like and it's and it's and it's from a, a variety of, of members as well that, that put the photos in there. And it's one thing I guess that really I mean I was always interested in Elite um even when it's way back in its Kickstarter phase because I was a fan of the original. But when if you are just a passer and see these pictures, they every one of them grabs you. Every single one of the pictures that people put in there will grab you in some way and make you think about what's possible in Elite. And I think I've, I'm sure uh, Phoenix and I've had a, a few chats online and I've just said that that's the one thing about Elite Dangerous that just, it can be any picture will just get emotion stirring and it might sound like a bit of a silly thing to say but it really isn't like you'll look at a picture and you can absolutely put yourself in that picture or it will stir an emotion within you that goes to actually I want to see more of this galaxy or, or visit this place or find something yeah. like that on my own Yeah, yeah. The, one of the things I like to do every once in a while is just click the photo button on Facebook. So it is just mm -hmm. the images that you're, and just scroll through. And, you know, I, I make a point of looking at every image that gets posted. Um, and I, I always leave a reaction simply because, you know, the amount of effort that goes into some of these shots. Cool. Um, but the thing to say is it's not about being a fantastic photographer. Our group is for everyone whether you're yeah. amateur trying to learn, whether you're well established and just want to show off your work, it goes for drawings, paintings, videos, everything. It's all about the sort of creative aspect of what you can do visually within uh, Elite Dangerous. Um, one um, thing I would say is, well, we've had a few people sort of comment about, oh, I don't do Facebook. I would point out that the reason we use Facebook is because it's the best media gallery that we can come across that is easily accessible without us having to spend money. We're all volunteers. We, we don't have money money to, to, to put into this. Yeah. So we find Facebook works well. Um, if you do look to join, please, please, please answer the entry questions and agree to the rules. We get a lot of bots 
trying to get into the group. So we have to be quite stringent. That's one thing I always try and make clear with uh, joining the group. But everyone is welcome. Any bots um, ruining it for everybody? Mm. Yeah. Um, just a couple of things. We'll move on to some, uh, some hints and tips because I know you guys will have loads. Um, you mentioned the social media. Can you give a shout out, um, access yourself, um, about where we can find um, you guys online? Absolutely. So our social media, primarily we're on Twitter. It's at Elite SPVFA and the same on Instagram at Elite SPVFA. Those are our primary uh, uh, social media accounts. Uh, on Facebook, you can reach us. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SPVFA. And uh, like Commander Orange Phoenix said, please answer the questions because um, it does help us to filter out bots. Uh, for those of you, just kind of a, you know, our, rule, our rules are pretty simple. It's uh, we prefer an image with any uh, thing that you post and no gifts or memes. So it's a pretty clear, we try to keep it as a, um, you know, a straight up photo gallery as an opportunity for folks to share, uh, share their work. And we want to make sure that that takes kind of the front and center um, when it comes to, when it comes to presenting our, uh, our stuff. Um. Now, I'm, we, we've got a, a video to show at the end of this little segment, which I, actually blew me away. I think it came out earlier this week. I'm, I'll am i be honest, I've lost track of days. I absolutely have lost Fair. track of where I am actually in, in the universe. But um, And you'll see just how stunning some of this stuff can be. But do you have, can you talk us through some some hints and tips about in-game photography, video, videography, um, you give players that are starting out with it or just tools you have? Because I remember when I was doing the, the free cam, it might be yourself being said, look, press press hold X and turn off just turn off stabilization because it makes it yeah. much more smooth. And I and I, I do it all the time now. It's isn't isn't it? because it is so much easier to record a panning shot or whatever you want to do. So any anything like that you, you might have for, for players that want to be interested. Um well certainly when it comes to sort of hints and tips, one of the first things to do is look at the legend for the camera suite. A lot of people just close it down instantly. They don't take time to study it. There's all your bindings right in front of you. Um, the stability is a really good one to point out, Arthur, that a lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll move the ship, the camera moves with the ship. You switch that stable, st stabilizer off and the ship movement does not affect the camera at all. It just allows much more smoother video taking. Um, but that, when it comes to the photography side, though, um, as I said before, I have the beholder. You know, you are the photographer. It's your style. Um, there is sort of little things you can do, like the rule of thirds that I mentioned earlier. Um, you have the whole depth of field that you can play with within the camera suite. Um, little plug for myself. Um, I have just recently done a how-to that explains the rule of thirds. Yes, you did. You're very good as well. Um, so, you know, it's just a nice, simple one. I was hounded by many commanders to do a <laughs> how-to, which is something I don't normally do. Um, but, you know, if you if you want to get those tips, there's, there's that there. But play around. Take your time. Enjoy it. Um, mess around with the, 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 the zoom, the blur, and the focus functions. Um, the hardest thing with taking photography is getting that moment. So when it comes to landscapes and such, uh, I'll let uh, Exorcist talk more on that. You, you've got more play. Action shots are the real challenge. If you want to do action shots, that will take practice. You will not get it instantly. Took me years. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Exorcist, uh, you're the uh, landscape expert. So... Um... Yeah, from, from a content standpoint, I think it's very important if someone wants to go out and be a photographer or a videographer is don't assume that you're going to jump into a system, look at a system map, and know what's out there. Uh, the system map does not represent what a system really looks like. And so um, it comes with, with practice and just Really, uh, the Ori map is fantastic looking at that to see the distances between planets a little better. But a lot of times it's luck of the draw. You you have to get out there and you have to look. This little ice moon, it, it on the system map look, may look completely boring. Go visit it. Take a, take a chance. Just try a couple of different locations. And you may, you may find out that it's in the perfect position with the lighting and the shadows to make a fantastic uh, vista that y you may have missed. Um, some of my favorite shots that I've taken have been just, oh, I'm bored and I'm going to go out and check out this ice moon. 
And, you know, I check out a geo site. I'm like, wow, this actually turned out really well. It's a, you know, it, it turns out to be a nice location. So um, being willing to take the time to explore and, and not be, and just don't expect it to just come. You have to kind of reach out and grab it and, and look for these places. Um, in my opinion, there are very few systems in the game that are just there. There's always something that you can find. Um, with a little bit of, of work and yep. just a little bit of attention, you can usually find something in any system that can make a fantastic uh, photo, uh, whether it's vistas. Now, I've tried action shots. I'm not very good at it. Um, landscapes are, are kind of my thing. but And there's a lot of them out there. I mean, we still haven't. <laughs> There's still so much of the galaxy left to see. How and excited are you for Odyssey? I and what the no, pictures this will bring? I have no words for how excited I am about Odyssey and what we will see and what we can photograph. I'm just yeah. giddy is the word for it. Yeah, yeah the, I think it's. I, I, I for one am extremely excited um, to see what people do with Odyssey and, and all the new stuff that comes with it. And um, we posted a, a QA we had from all, I, I've been hounding the devs relentlessly actually this week. And um, I was like, it's, it's the Christmas week and I really want to get some, some, some more info out for everyone. And then um, they've been very kind and spared some time, but the fact they said that, you know, the new, the, the lighting has been overhauled for the entire game. Uh, so I'm just like, I'm so excited to see the planets, space, spaceships, just everything. Um, with Odyssey, I think it's gonna, it's gonna, it's just gonna add to an inc already incredible galaxy. So, super excited to see what um, everyone comes up with uh, in well, Odyssey. Odyssey is gonna be a game changer for the photography with the the lighting changes, um, the aspects that you're gonna be able to capture. Uh, for example, I was on somebody else's stream um, chatting away, and we uh, mentioned pack hounds and what it's gonna be like pack counts being used on a base just to, or a commander the the photography aspect of something as simple as that um the epic scenes that you're going to be able to create and then exploration you know being able to get captures walking about on foot of all the the, the fauna that, that you're going to find um it's going to massively improve and also with um sagittarius eye because spvfa provide all the photography for sagittarius eye magazine um, with the printable version hopefully returning in February. Um, mm -hmm. When Odyssey drops, what's that going to do for us? Because we've often had to rely upon artists to create a lot of the images that we can't get in-game. Now we're going to have this huge field to play with. Um, so very, very excited. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm super excited. Um, so we, I'm just conscious of time. We have a video I want to show. Um, I saw this earlier on this week, and it, it's, I think it's five, about five minutes long, six minutes long, something like that. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Um, but before we do that, um, I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much, A, for coming on, B, for taking time out and, and helping us judge um, with, with the, your sort of professional eye, the, the, all the entrance. I think you agree that sort of all the entrance... All the photos are incredible, um, so it's, it's a very hard job to do, and thank you for doing it. Thank you for coming on and imparting your knowledge um, and your support for Elite, um, because you, I know you guys are always around on stream and in the chat and et cetera all the time, so thank you. Um, um, and, yeah, I, if I will, I'm sure I'll speak to you in some form between, between now and then, but have a lovely, lovely holidays, and I'm sure we will speak to you soon. So we're going to roll this video now, but thanks again, guys, for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Happy holidays. In this moment. I want you to just be aware of the presence of this body. And the naturalness and simplicity of this awareness. is just here.
that there is no need to follow or to analyze or interpret now. You are not that which comes and goes. No appearances can be you. You are not concerned about these things. Keep no labels for yourself. A silence.